What is up guys in today's video I'm going to be telling you how you can start every match with a reaper sniper rifle as always if you guys do enjoy this video remember to give it a like subscribe if you like to see more and comment down below if you're going to take advantage of any of these landing spots so in yesterday's update Fortnite vaulted the green and the blue version of the reaper sniper rifle in the general loot pool the purple and gold reaper sniper is still in the game but since these are the only rarities you're able to find there's just much less snipers to go around the island and a lot of people are having a problem getting them but with these drop spots you're going to have an easy time getting them and then after I talk about the drop spots I'm going to talk about why this can be so important. So the first is going to be the Hope NPC at Grand Glacier. If you just land at Grand Glacier the Hope NPC is in the building and she sells a purple reaper snipe rifle for 300 gold. Very straightforward, very simple. The Mina NPC is in the woods in between Rebel's Roost and Lavish Lair. This NPC can be hired as a scout specialist, so there might be times where if you try to just land at Rebel's Roost, there's other players that land on her and hire her right away because the scout specialist NPCs are pretty high value to a lot of players. But she also sells a purple Reaper Sniper. You can either land directly on her and get it and then maybe hire her and go towards Rebel's Roost lavish or land at one of those other places and kind of rotate into her and kind of hope you get lucky uh and she's still there and you can buy one uh both of these npcs sell it for 300 gold and with the mina npc she's also very close to this gas station where the jewels npc is uh and the jewels npc sells a purple gatekeeper shotgun and shockwave grenades so if you just don't care about gold uh, you could buy a purple sniper loot up a bit, go to the gas station, buy a purple gatekeeper shotgun, get some shockwaves. There's also a Midas computer that spawns in this gas station next to Jules and a Midas computer that can spawn in the basement of Rebel's Roost. So if you want to make your weapons gold, those options are there. Obviously, that's an insane amount of gold. And then you can, after going to the Jules NPC, either rift from the Midas computer if it's there over to Grim Gate or just drive over towards Grimgate and hopefully get that medallion as well. If you wanted like a somewhat low key spot to I think get some like somewhat consistent wins and somewhat like consistent start to a game. Uh going from the Mina NPC to the gas station kind of looting up a bit and then getting the Grimgate medallion as well, I think can be a, a pretty solid strategy for like the early game. And then the final NPC is going to be the Clara NPC at this graveyard in between uh, Classy Court and Reckless Railway. This NPC actually dropped a blue one. So they, they vaulted the green and blue sniper. But when you duel her, one of the rewards you get from winning that duel is a blue Reaper sniper rifle. So you can still get the blue sniper. It's just not in the general loot pool. I'm not sure if they're going to change the reward for dueling this NPC and then she might not drop a sniper anymore since the blue one was vaulted. We'll have to see kind of how this plays out over the next few days. I'm making this video one day after they made those changes. So it's possible this kind of like slipped by. Unfortunately, with all of these NPCs, the attachments you get from them are pretty random. So you could buy a purple sniper rifle and end up with no sight at all or maybe the 1.3 site and not actually end up with a 4X if that's what you're concerned about. And then the same is true with like buying it from Hope, Mina, or the one you get from Clara at the graveyard also seems to have pretty random attachments. So you can get unlucky and end up with a scope that you don't like or just no site at all. But it at least gives you the ability to have a sniper and guaranteed to get that sniper and know that you're going to have it by the time that the uh, weapon customization bunkers open up. You still have like a somewhat solid chance of getting those snipers in the bunker from the weapon cases or the legendary chest. But if you're playing squads, especially finding enough snipers for four people, I feel like can be pretty rough. So just being able to take advantage of any of these NPCs, if you're in the area or if you want to land your like plan your entire drop spot around getting a sniper, I think can be somewhat of an advantage. With these like kind of spots, being able to get a sniper quick, not only do you not have to worry about RNG anymore, you at least got that taken care of. And with how important snipers are in the meta, just being able to guarantee it is quite nice. But also it should give you a decent advantage on other players in kind of the early to mid game. Because 
this hasn't played out as much as I thought it would be, but with the lower rarities of snipers being bolted, you should encounter players using snipers less often, right? Uh, so if you're able to guarantee that you have one, that should be an advantage you have over other players. And you guys know how the meta has been for the past two seasons. If you have a sniper rifle and your opponent doesn't, that's like a decent advantage for you in that fight. Uh, the way you can play peaks and the way you can play range, you just have a huge advantage. So like I, I feel like the advantage not only is just that you have a sniper but also with the changes to the loot pool other people should be having them less and that should make it easier for you to play the game or at least give you an advantage in the game that other players won't have especially in squads i think in solos you know you only have to find one sniper and then you got that taken care of but in like duos or squads with the changes finding two to four snipers per game so that everybody on the team can have one depending on what like size team mode you're playing i think can be quite difficult so taking advantage of any of these spots uh not only gives you a somewhat easier early game because these aren't the most contested landing spots but i think gives you a decent amount of consistency because you'll know you'll always have those snipers and then those shock waves if you go to the jewels npc as well in the case of mina but also you can kind of flex that advantage on other players early on in the game who sh likely won't have snipers yet or more often than not shouldn't have snipers yet but that is going to be it for this video i hope you guys found this helpful informative interesting uh i know snipers are very important uh in the meta and them changing the rng of it definitely could impact a lot of people's games so if you feel like you're very much impacted by that taking advantage of some of these spots could make your games easier if you enjoyed this found it helpful informative remember to give it a like subscribe if you like some more I'm going to let some gameplay play out that I got on stream, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. You might have dropped? Yeah, so it came out yesterday. This farm got hella golden eggs. I don't understand this player. He's like very intent on shooting my car, but not... Okay, maybe now he wants to fight. Nothing's loaded, by the way. I'm gonna ghost him off this ledge and then shockwave away. I missed the part in 8 Mile where Eminem just like hid and then waited for somebody else to like start a rap battle and then he came in and third party. I didn't see that part. Weird. One person left. Eagle's projectile? Yeah. What the heck, Alexander? That would tell me. Anything with like nonsense audio, just I like, struggle with so much.